I am Dr. Dave Harris, and I want to welcome you to this series of videos on video and television production. We're talking about video switchers, and in this video specifically about chroma keying using video switchers. Within a professional video switcher, we're going to have a, the ability to do a chroma key. And as we do a chroma key, I want to talk to you about what a chroma key actually is. First of all, you're going to have a colored screen. Usually that screen is going to be green or blue. I could tell you in like 90% of the cases, it's going to be green or blue. You also want to make sure you've got proper lighting. That means with a chroma key, it's going to be flat lighting. You're going to have uh, just a lot of light. Bathe the entire area in light. And what's going to happen with the chroma key is that green color is going to be replaced with some sort of background. And I want to let you know that what I'm actually doing here with this series of videos is actually a chroma key. I'm going to go ahead and show you what the green screen looks like without the graphic being superimposed underneath. As you can see, it's a whole lot different. I'm in the exact same spot, uh, but really what I'm doing is just standing in front of a green screen and all of this green is just being replaced with that graphic. In order to set up a chroma key, in this particular switcher, we're going to push the effects key button, and that's going to bring us to this menu where we can affect either key one or key two, because this switcher has the ability to do two effects keys. Right now I have key one selected, and I'm going to select chroma key for the type of key that I want to perform. I want to let you also know that the camera is in the foreground. So as we are selecting the type of key that we want, we want to make sure on the key bus, which is above the program bus, we've selected the camera as the foreground. Then what happens is the graphics, or in other words, all this information that's just going to be replaced instead of the green screen is going to be the background. That's going to be selected on the program bus of the switcher. So for example, in this particular example, I have in the key bus of my effects key, I have a camera, which is the camera I'm currently looking at. And on the program bus, I have the output of my computer, which is generating these graphics. The preview bus is actually not a part of the key at all. Some people do get confused and they feel like the camera is going to be on the program bus, the graphics are going to be on the preview bus, because that would seem to make sense. You're going to have program is the main part of it, preview is going to be what's behind it, but that's actually not the case when it comes to a chroma key. Then we also have our chroma key settings. This is where we're going to define what color is going to be keyed out and how much of that color is going to be keyed out. We have a number of different settings we can choose. We've got the hue, which is going to be the color of the color we want to key out. In this particular case, I'm using a green screen. So the hue value for the key you're actually looking at is 144.2. We also have the ability to narrow the range of the colors. That's going to be with this narrow button, and that's actually this soft key right here. We'd select that, and that would narrow the range of the hue of colors that would be, would be keyed out. Then we have the gain of the foreground, which for me was 68.6, .6, which would be the gain of the camera that were being used as the foreground. Then we have the Y suppress. The Y suppress, Y is short for luminance, so that's going to be the luminance suppress, which is going to change the way the key looks at the edges. We can see we've got a nice hard edge, just a tiny bit of black being shown, but notice there's very little green. I hardly see any green in this particular key that we're using right now. And that's because we've got the hue, the gain, and the Y suppress set specifically for the green screen that we're using. Lastly, we've got two other controls. I've got the lifts. This is generally going to be at zero on an ATEM switcher. And then the fly key, fly key would only be pressed, again, it's going to be this button down here below the fly key soft menu. And uh, we're only going to use that if we've got a DVE that we're going to be using. This video is actually part of a series of videos on television and video production. I invite you to visit our channel for playlists where we've organized all the videos and subscribe if you want additional videos to be notified your direction. And lastly, do visit our Patreon page if you want to consider donating. I'm Dr. Dave Harris, and I thank you for your support.